we have a blue package to unbox today. This was a very spontaneous little buy on eBay. Doesn't work, it's broken apparently. Let's see what's in the box. vacuum cleaner and floor care chums how are you today this interesting little thing where have some scissors gone and no oh, there they are was very cheap on ebay it is also apparently broken so i made a suitably no offer which was accepted straight away so who knows he's obviously had it on for a while um Trying to sort of take the packaging off without revealing what it is straight away, really. Very odd little odd wear. This be from the 1990s. That's very early 2000s. We might be able to find out. Come on. Oh, sorry. Let's just tear it open and reveal to you. My Vax Super Broom! Yes, it is a battery powered dustpan and brush. My Vax! As soon as I saw it, it looked fun. It did. Little fun little thing. Where is it from? Vax part number patents pending. Oh, Vax appliances Australia! Australia, Australia, Australia. So. I think it's been opened before, although it all seems to be nicely taped up, so who knows where or when or how or etc. it was opened. So if I cut the tape here, I think we have to go from the top for this one. Ah, smash! What have we got? Well, Ooh, that smells very hot. We have the instruction manual. The owner's manual, which sadly is not dated. I was slightly hoping it would be. But it is not dated. What else have we got? We have, well, we have a charger, a fax transformer. There. I don't think I can get anything else out, really. It's so warm, this has been probably the hot van all week. Where is the telescopic tube? There's the thing itself. Anything else in this box? Nope! That is it. So here we go. Now the charger itself seems to just clip in there. And I'm going to try and take that out for now. This is obviously the wall bracket to store it on. Drill it to the wall and charge it up. But this is the thing itself. Super Boom by Vax. That is peeling off, but we'll leave it on. And this is a little battery powered dustpan and brush look. It's got very soft bristles and foam pads which don't seem to be falling apart which is good and a little tiny suction unit in there we have two tabs which open the unit up so there we have our little motor don't know oh here we go here's the credentials batch number 3699 so it could be 1999 but that's it there is no mention at all of motor power. I imagine it's literally only going to be a few watts. Does not say at all. And in here... Gosh, this is a news look. There's its little filter. And there's its little tiny dirt bin. Very nice. 
So we'll lock that up. It's not got any charge in it at all. And so he did say it was broken. And I'm hedging my bets on the charger being at fault. If not, it's going to be the batteries. And um, we're probably not going to be able to do too much with it, which is why I literally paid a few pounds for it. But the charging light is on. The motor is spinning. So that's interesting, a little bit. I think this might have to be the sort of thing I'm going to have to leave on charge for ages and ages and ages. And then we'll have to go back to it. So we'll see if we can fit the wand, which we can't actually. Hello. Why can't we fit you? There's nowhere for the wand to clip into. This end bit here doesn't have anywhere to clip into look. Well I never. Let's just take that out for a second. Definitely hear the motor running. I think this is just going to need a lot of charge. Yeah, there's nothing. I reckon there's a piece missing. Let's just put that back on charge for a sec. I reckon there's a piece missing, you know. So there, twist the section to handle to loosen. Twist the screw handle into unit base. How? There is a thread there, but there's no thread on here. I reckon it's missing something, you know. Easily bodged with a bit of tape to hold it in. Yes, it is. It is missing the part for the handle. What have we got here? We have the remains of a bag and a cable tie, and that's it. Yeah. Well, that's that's why it's broken. I'm not too upset with that. I'll be honest. Especially if this will take a charge. Oh, that was a mew. I might leave this on charge for a bit. I'll, st I'll stop this video now. And we'll leave it on charge. Let's just give it a bit of a clean up because it's obviously been sat for a long while. I don't know what the run time of this is. I'd imagine not a lot. I would imagine you will literally, this is one of those NICAD batteries, so it's going to take probably about 10 hours to charge, and then you get about 3 minutes of use. Yeah, before first use, charge for 24 hours. Crikey, hold the super brew like a conventional broom. Doesn't say how long it should actually last though. But I imagine it's not going to be a lot. So there we go for now. I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a piece missing. That bit should clip in and those threads lock into something else, which this hasn't got. There's just a hole there. So, yeah. Oh well, we can find some also weirdly, but let's take this off. This is just a cover for this transfer. The transfer at the top is the only bit that's worn off. So I'll leave that there. Literally, if I hold this as close to the camera as I can, it is alive. So, I don't, I'm a bit torn at this early stage as to whether, you know, it does actually work absolutely fine. Just that the person who bought it had unrealistic expectations, shall we say? Let's take this off, which I've just read about. Oh, here we go, look. So you can take the sweeping brushes apart. So we have the brush unit itself, which it looks like you need to have with this. There's also the foam strip. 
here, which I'm amazed is as good as it is. And then this is the suction plate itself. In fact, it does say in the manual that you can remove the foam bristles to buy a new ones. So that's quite interesting. Right, we'll put that back. Oh, I think that only goes in one way. Ooh. It's trying to live, folks. This is so very exciting. That's the wrong screwdriver. It is trying its very best to live. I think I'm going to have to stop this video now and come back in a bit when it's fully charged up and see if it's alive. There's also a phone number. So we do what we usually do and find the phone number. All right, 70. I've got the fan on again. What have we got? We have 0870-606-1248. What's ringing? That's been filmed in a field. Five, five. Oh. Who would have thought that the phone number on this is out of service already? God. What have you? However, thanks to the magic of Google, I can just type in Vax customer service and find an 0330 number. Oh, local number. Ooh. I just want, I don't really want a phone, I don't, are 0330 numbers? Premium rates? Well, we're going to find it and find out. I've got a cap on my phone. <laughs> Run out of credit. Welcome to that. Welcome to that. Just to let you know. Right, sir. To make a new purchase, please press 1. To check on a recent order or a range in return, it's 2. If you need to register your purchase or discuss your warranty, choose 3. Oh, I've got a warranty. It's going to be 4, isn't it? Did you know that most product issues can be resolved by following a few simple checks? Sure, I could. Contact how at support.vax.co.uk or chat to us online. This hasn't got a URL. We'll need to know your model and serial number. Nah. If you don't have these at home, please call back. Or tell us you need to visit vax.co.uk. I've got a feeling they're not going to know anything about it. Oh, my phone's turned off. Oh look, it knows it's calling Vax. Bored now. I'll fast forward. Oh, I'll cut and come back when we're collected. Good afternoon, Vax. Hello. 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 Sorry, hi. Can you hear me? Hello. Sorry, there's so much I can't hear you, but. 
I'll, I'll, I'll... To help us improve our service, huh? we'd love to hear what you thought of your call today. Do you feel that the person... Five for very well. Four for quite well. But Three for satisfactory. Two for poor. All one for very poor. One. Was your query resolved satisfactorily? No. Please press one for yes or two for no. No. Will you recommend back to friends and colleagues? I never recommend that. Please press one for yes or two for no. Two. Thanks. We will use your feedback to help us improve our service. Yeah, she's going to get told off. Well, that was five minutes of my life that I'm never going to get back. I did. Screw you, Max. No, I can't do that. Well, we're obviously not going to get anywhere with Vax themselves. We might have a little laugh on Facebook in a bit. So. For you, this will be massive seconds. For me, I'm going to leave this now until tomorrow. It is... Alive, which is more than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a battery or a charger problem. I reckon the reason it was sold for parts is the bit in the handle isn't there. A few wraps of electrical tape and pushing it in really hard is going to fix that. So, bear with while we give this some charge. The next day... It has had a full charge. So we need to fit the handle. Now to fit the handle we are going to be using some masking tape mainly because I forgot to bring any insulation tape with me but all this is for is just to pack this out so it sits inside this part and doesn't fall out so hopefully we won't need too much just a little bit more plus doing it this way means that it is easily reversible and won't leave a load of residue because obviously if i glue it in it's never going to fit back in the box so it's always going to be a little bit temporary obviously there's no chance at all of me finding the missing part and to be fair it's probably much point either because this is only a little curio there we go and yeah you basically this is how you use it Sweep, sweep, sweep. See if it works. We're in the bathroom for this because hopefully the dark laminate will show up the little porridge oats that I've got because this isn't going to take much dust to overload it at all. So we may as well be kind to it and see if we can't sweep up these porridge oats. Now it is working. I don't know for how long though, so I won't chat too much whilst it's on, because I have to wait another 24 hours to carry on the video. So let's see if we'll pick up these oats. Yes, it has, although it's slowed right down. If we unlock it, lean that up against the toilet. No, it's going to fall down, lean it up against the wall. There are our little oats. I sowed my wild oats in this fax super broom. Let's see if we can get a close up shot before the battery dies of death. <laughs> wasn't too bad at all actually it works quite well certainly on something small like porridge oats I wouldn't like to 
put loads of mess down. It's not really meant for loads of mess, it's meant literally just to sweep up little bits and bobs and probably stay on charge constantly as well. It's probably not very good on carpet, we'll give it a try just because we're here before we sum up and end the video. I don't think it's going to do terribly well though. Let's give it a go. But I think that's more a combination of this foam pad picking it all up and channeling it towards there. I'm also amazed that the battery is lasting as long as it is. I mean, it's, it, it's going. Oh, it's falling out. Probably wouldn't get much harm to be killed fully and then charged back up. But I probably won't do that here and now. Oh, that, that's fairly constant. That must be its normal running period, really. But yeah, take this off so it's easier to hold. This is certainly a product of its time. I've, I've never seen one either for sale or in real life. So it obviously wasn't very popular. I can't imagine it's actually a Vax design, mainly because somebody has posted or commented on my Instagram photo that these were sold, or they've got a Dirt Devil version. So it's obviously bought in. Great little idea. Sadly nowadays rendered completely obsolete with the current cordless dustbuster stick back revolution that we seem to be finding ourselves in in 2018 god it's falling out everywhere you can see it in there look there's no way to stop the dirt coming back out so every time i lift it up it vomits all over the floor so yes occasional light use only on this but still i'm gonna take this off because every time i hold it up it falls off more very interesting, glad to have it, especially with the original box. The Vax Super Broom, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If I was LGR, this would be called Oddware, but I'm not LGR, so we won't call it Oddware. So we'll just call it interesting and something that we'll probably never see again. Look, it's even got the old style Vax logo, which is fantastic to see. So. There we go, really. Thank you very much for watching. This could go back in its box and go out of the way for another day. I don't know if I'll be able to find a way to use it fully all the time. But who knows, we might. Until then, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.